Hi everybody, this is Lars Vemir and welcome to another Love VFX tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can fix the nadir in Nuke. The nadir is the south pole of a spherical panorama. That's the spot where your tripod would be standing. If you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. So here we are in Nuke. The nadir is defined as the direction pointing directly below a particular location. And in this video I'll show you how you can retouch this area. This spherical panorama can also be called a lat long map. The node that can change the way we look at a spherical panorama is the spherical transform. So let's create two of them. The first one will transform our lat long image to a cubicle view, so we can look at the nadir and retouch it. The second one will reformat our square and retouched image back to a lat long format. So let's connect the first spherical transform to the panorama, change the settings to lat long map for the input type, because that's what we are plugging into this node, cube for the output type. This setting wraps the lat long map around a cube, but we will only be able to look at one side of the cube at a time. And 2K for the output format, because if you're looking at a surface of a cube, your image format has to be square, otherwise you will distort the pixels. And since our lat long map's resolution is 4 by 1.5K, a square 2K image will be enough resolution for fixing its nadir. Now if we want to look at the bottom of the cube, where the nadir is, we just have to change the X output rotation to minus 90 degrees. And retouching this area is as easy as creating a roto paint node, connecting it to the spherical transform, and making this area look a bit cleaner with only a few clone strokes. But since I've done this before, we can skip this part and plug in another roto paint node that I've prepared. I'm going to twirl down this arrow below where it says Clip 2. That will reveal the output mask option that we can check. This will create a mat for all of the strokes that I have created in the paint node. Having that mat means I can pre-multiply the strokes later and only merge back over the work that I've done. So I'm not filtering more of the image that I need due to the spherical transform operations that I'm doing. Now we have to get this retouched image back into the lat long format. So let's change the settings of the second spherical transform to cube for the input type because a square image is what we're plugging into this node and 4 by 1.5k for the output format which is the format of the spherical panorama. Now let's create a constant and a merge node. Change the constants channels to RGBA. Connect it to the second spherical transform's minus Z input. The minus Y input to the roto paint node. And merge the retouched image back over the spherical panorama. After the spherical transform node, we'll make a pre-multiply node. Because again, we only need the strokes that we created in the paint node, and not the entire bottom of the image. There you have it, the nadir is fixed. I have connected a constant to the second spherical transform node because of the RGB and the alpha channel. Otherwise, our retouched image would not get piped through. To get another perspective of this retouched image, we can create another spherical transform node, change the settings to lat long map for the input type, mirror ball for the output type, and 2K for the output format. Now let's duplicate this node, connect one to our panorama, and the other to the merge node. By switching between these nodes, you can see the part of the image that I just retouched. So that's it for me. I hope you liked this tutorial, and goodbye everybody.